Let me uh, start this speech with a, a painful story, and a beautiful one. So uh, there used to be this woman in her 20s who was a philosopher, writer, poet. Uh, she had full of aspirations. She was full of life. And she's got married to the Prince Charming, the love of her, love of her life. She was left with two small children. God has different plans for her. So uh, her husband has passed away when she was only 27 years old. But after her husband passed away, the third day after the pass by, she has taken up a job, started off her career uh, being a lecturer. And that's how she started her journey. Uh, by the way, this is uh, my mother. This is the celebrity that I look like. She is my mentor, my guide, my philosopher, and everything. So, uh, so I was born with an inspiration. So, and this is a beautiful picture of me, my mother, and my father together. Uh, I suppose you can't see me there because I was minus five months old in my mo mom's uh, stomach over there. Uh, so I don't want to give the entire credit to my mother because I'm here right now. My dad even plays a great part in this. He passed away when I was one year old. But, um, you know, as Lord Voldemort was born with seven lives, Mr. Super Mario was born with three lives. I was born with two. One is mine and one is his. So. Uh, Many times I fell, I tried to get up, sometimes I gave up, but there was this inner life inside me, which was not mine, and that was him. He always tried to push me up, uh, wanted me to achieve go, made me a go-getter. So like, like, like from every middle class family, I was raised, I'm, I'm from uh, a, a small town called Karnul in Andhra Pradesh. So uh, I've been taught to uh, get up with, you know, uh, basic needs. And also, uh, I was an engineer like all you guys. So I didn't have a choice. My mom made me take up uh, engineering as my career. So that's all we do, right? Like we just first take up being an engineer and then we choose what we actually want to do. So that's how I've started my career. Uh, but uh, what all this story has to deal with it right now, why, why I'm standing here in front of you talking about uh, my achievements at TEDx today. It's because all the pain, the geopardy, uh, the inspiration that I've gained right from when I was a kid till I was 24 years old has made a mark in my brain. This is uh, 1400 grams human muscle that works brilliantly. So. Uh, it collects all the memories that, that are needed. But for me, all these memories were transferred in the form of cinema. So film has been my first love right from I was a kid until I was almost into my uh, BE days. So, so as I was raised as a, uh, you know, a middle class guy, and then I, was, I, I got into engineering, and then I took up a job in an MNC soon after I passed out. The, it didn't stop there because I've started industrial engineering in my master's too, so I moved to the US. But as I was always a self-taught filmmaker, I used to make short films right from, uh, you know, mo back more than, more than like a decade. So, so uh, but always my heart used to tell me, uh, this, is, this is not what you love. It, it always used to tell me, this is not what you love. You were supposed to do something that you actually like. I never wanted to create history. I never wanted to make films for people. For me, film was very cerebral. I, I always used to think uh, films have to make you think. It has to make you, uh, you know, reach every bit of neurons in your brain. So, uh, but finally, I've took up a choice. So I thought engineering is not for me. So I've just s wanted to jump into filmmaking. And that was a life-changing decision of my life. I was, I was sitting in my room after my master's. I was, uh, you know, doing an internship in Boston. So I just thought about, I just, I just have to pack my bags and go back to India because 
film has no future way back there in the US. So one day I just took, my, took the flight without even telling my mom and came back to India. And when she asked me like, did you come for vacation or did you come for good? I just told her I came for good. I don't want to go back because I want to make film. Then she said like, you're, you're old enough to take your own decisions. So the only thing I asked from you is not to depend on me financially. So just do whatever you want to do, but don't ask for me anything. But that decision that I've taken that day hasn't just changed my life, but it has created uh, a page in the history of world cinema. So that's where, uh, you know, the film that I had to make after I came back to India was Manasanam had the short film. Uh, I haven't made the film expecting anything. I just made it out of my heart. And it was very difficult for me to get back to, the, to India and make films because as most of you guys, I am also an introvert. I didn't know how to approach people, how to talk to people. So I thought there should be something that has to excite them. So I just put my energies into making a short of 16 minute duration. And that film was Manasanama for me. And that is the, on, I think, 20th May 2022, India has created a record, the history in the world cinema, as we made the most award-winning film in the entire, entire world. And this film was officially uh, qualified to be in the shortlist for 2022 Oscars, as many of us don't know, because we have Oscars for short films too. So uh, that's one among the achievements that we have done. So, so yeah, for me, I used to follow a lot of filmmakers because I always, I, did, I said I'm, I'm a self-taught filmmaker. I used to always follow Mr. Kubrick, Akira Kurosawa, uh, David Lynch. There are a lot of directors who have inspired me to take up film. They were all cerebral for me. Uh, so, you know, you need to put, think, give it a lot of thought while you watch films. But the only filmmaker that, that has inspired me being a Telugu, be, being a Telugu person was Sukuma sir for me all the time. So when I was around, I think 12 years old, uh, his film Arya got released. So uh, I, I still remember every bit of my viewing experience when I was watching that film because one of my uncles have taken me to that film and while I was watching, like people used to, like a lot of people bash the film saying uh, he, the, the, uh, the protagonist isn't fighting. So we, uh, the Telugu heroes were supposed to fight, they have to beat the shooter of, uh, uh, you know, villains and all. But this is the one film that I've seen when a hero is, he has, a, when he's supposed to fight, he just goes and smashes all the properties around him. And that's where the, you know, that's where you, you see the strength of the hero. So this is a kind of, this, this, this was a way to, new approach to me. And I thought, I just wanted to know, I, that's the time I got to know that there is a filmmaker behind the screen who has, who does everything that's on the screen. So it's nothing but, it's nothing but the director's vision and his shadow that plays the hero in the film. So for me, it, it's always been Sukuma sir. And I awaited to meet him for almost 10 years after I watched that film, but I never got a chance because I was not into film at all. So finally, uh, the biggest achievement I consider myself after achieving everything is I could, I could actually reach out to him. So he's the one who's <laughs> felicitated me once I got the uh, Guinness World Record. So yeah, uh, I've got recognition from all over the world, right from uh, Hyderabad, to Los Angeles, I've been called up for the Oscar screening last year. So I've been there, represented the country. Yeah. So this, this is one more filmmaker that I've been fond of all the time. Uh, Gautam sir has been an inspiration. So uh, his films are deeply personal and cerebral. So I used to love his films a lot. I never got a chance to talk to him. One day when I was sleeping, I got a call at, so saying like, I just watched your short film. I'm, I'm Gautam Minan speaking. He said like, I was like so shocked. Sir, uh, is it real or are you playing a prank with me? So he said like, no, no, I'm Gautam Minan, I'm talking to you. Because I just loved your short film and I want to dub it in Tamil because I want people to experience this film. So that's how Gautam sir dubbed it and released it in Tamil. And the film has got dubbed into different languages, like beat in Kannada, beat Tamil, beat Malayalam. Uh, that's how I felt like I am 
this is this is where i uh, after achieving everything then i've got to know that i'm a filmmaker so till then i didn't have this you know confidence in me because i never believed in myself because all the life i've seen uh, you know uh, traumas rejections i've been underconfident about myself so i barely put 5 lakhs uh, you know even I, i didn't put that 5 lakhs because i didn't have money to produce my film myself so i have got a producer who just put 5 lakhs to make this film so it was made in like 20 2020 so uh, uh, but someone when they trusted me and they put their money to make a film for myself then this is what i have done so then i was confident of because i got calls from every possible producer in the industry from telugu beat tamil beat telugu a lot of people have really appreciated and also wanted to right away make a film with me and uh, wanted to sign from sign me for the future films yeah i should be thankful for a lot of people because i had a lot of support right from you know uh, immediately after i got they got to watch my uh, work so like like this uh, i've had i've had hurdles at every point of my life i've been put down so many times i've taken i've made wrong decisions because it took almost 6 years for me to get back to the industry because i didn't know what to actually choose i used to listen to you know cousins relatives family parents a lot of people that that's uh, what you always grow up with for me it was cinema for you it can be something else but art art i think is really special because you will be born with it it is not something that you can learn suggest all you artists never give up art it's okay that you have to struggle you have to get going with a lot of life and finance and thing it it need not be your primary goal but it needs to get going one time it will trigger you you never know when it will call you up then you don't leave that opportunity and just grab it and make a move thank you